So today I'll uh, discuss uh, the precautions which mariners should observe when navigating in heavy weather areas. So what is heavy weather? Well, when navigating in areas where heavy or stormy weather is expected, uh, that could be a result of a passing tropical revolving storm or strong winds or gusty winds because of which there is high sea swells. And the officer of the watch shall order that all movable objects both above and below decks are to be checked and where necessary secured and or additional lashings taken. So we're talking about all movable objects like ship stores and accommodation. You could also put additional lashings on the cargo, lifeboats, life rafts, uh, mooring ropes, anchors, doors, hatches, ports and side lights uh, must also be secured tightly. Safety lines and hand ropes must be rigged in open spaces of the upper deck and other exposed areas where access may be required. This becomes more important if crew are to be sent out to check the lashings of the cargo or tightening the lashings of the cargo on a daily basis. The master, the engine room and the crew are to be notified as soon as the sea state or wind velocity reaches the level laid out in the master's standing orders which classifies the prevailing weather conditions as heavy weather conditions. The master will carefully consider the current loading conditions, the vessel's age and structural strength and the risk of water slamming in the tanks when weighing any decision to reduce the speed and or alter course in order to reduce potential damage. Speed and course is adjusted only on the orders of the master. The crew is to be warned by the officer on watch to avoid areas of the upper deck that have been made hazardous by the weather. The officer on watch will order an increase in the frequency of the monitoring of the weather reports and the recording of data from onboard weather instruments and visual observations. In the case of tropical storms, weather reports are to be transmitted to the appropriate authorities. During heavy weather conditions, the intercom system is to be used to report damage or lose equipment and search lights are to be used to detect damage and or lose equipment on the open decks. Inspections are only to be made during breaks in the weather. Additionally, use the checklist from the Bridge Procedures Guide, ISM checklist as well as company's procedures and policies to understand the precautions better and to take additional precautions which may be relevant to your type of the vessel. I hope this video was useful for you to understand how to answer questions or to take precautions in practice when sailing on ships which are running into heavy weather. I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye guys.